What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today I'm going to play a ranked match. So, hooray, we're at 1900 rating. I've been playing a Mono Decay build. Um, also, made by Blinky. I like using his decks because I usually do well with them. Um, I'm number 5 on the ladder, so we're going to keep trying to get back to even higher on the ladder where we used to be. And, plus a Mono Decay. This is the deck I'm using. It's a very creature-heavy uh, Mono Decay deck. Like I said... I believe this is Blinky's deck. And Pedios, good luck. As long as he's not playing Structure Energy, I think we're okay. Um, do we want a mulligan? I'll say no. We do have a 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop, 5-drop. But I'll sack this 2-drop because Watchers are not good in the early game, really. So, even though I do have Rippers and Tribesmen in this deck because it's a creature-heavy deck, um... Even then I'll have this one or two drops. Or a uh, Darkling is two drop. Three drop, four drop, five drop is pretty solid. And I also have a dam Damage Curse in case I need it if he plays like big threat. I don't even know what faction he's playing yet because he hasn't sacked yet. But Pedios is a very respectable player. And he's Decay also. Oh, the Decay Mirror. So exciting. Um, Now let's see. I think I'll sack the Life Stealer now. Harvester's very good in Decay Mirror. I think it was pretty good also, but I kind of want to keep the loath. Blight Bear is probably the worst card out of all of them, but um, I need it as a three. Eh, maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stacked that because I can play the Harvester now. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever, I'll play the Blight Bear. Because turn three Harvester with nothing on the board is not that good because it, the earlier in the game, the slower the Harvester is going to count down because there's less... Uh, things dying and good he does not have a three drop um i'm actually going to stack the damage curse here maybe a, not a that great play but you like that i'm just going to separate things just in case he decides to damage curse the blood bearer i don't want to take any unnecessary poison but yeah harvesters are very important to came here so i stack that and i like the witch doctor coming up in two turns i'm not sure if he's playing modern decay or he could be playing a variant with wild with uh Decay Energy or Decay Order, which is very popular right now in the ladder. So far, okay, so he damage curses the Curse Monger. I'm actually going to sacrifice the Harvester. There's not much stuff on the board. The early game Harvester is not that good, so I'm just going to go with my creatures. I'm going to have a. I mean, he hasn't even played a creature yet. I might have th uh, two humans and a Wish Doctor on the board, which would be really nice. But he does have more. He's sacking for scrolls and that does not have a good hand. I'm not sure if I saw him mulligan. Okay, he plays the Curse Monger. So there is his first two units. Um, I'll have to sack the Languid, but Languid is not that, that huge of a card against Decay anyways. So now we're threatening his Curse Monger with three attack. But six cards and four resources, I am sure he has something to protect that with. But hopefully at least we can deal some nice damage on the Protector. <laughs> If I, if I, I should have, um, never mind, I was trying to think of a way I could have had both of these guys be in this lane, but I think I was, when I was playing my guys, I was trying to keep them off the road of the Blight Bear, so I didn't take any poison I didn't need to take. Okay, so we have, sorry about that, my mic just fell a little bit. So we definitely have the board advantage, but a curse monger on the field is scary, and he has six cards, but we have more resources. And now he has all his many resources, and let's see what he plays. Okay, just a Rot Eater. Not too bad. Now it'd be nice if I could top deck a Brain Lace so I can get rid of this Curse Monger this turn. Nah, I got two little Darklings. Not not that good, but two more humans. Um, So I guess I'll move you over so I still have the... Uh, wait, if the Black Bear dies this turn, I could move down so I can engage the Rot Eater. But he's probably going to protect it, and then he's going to be able to use that to attack. So I'll just play, um... I could play both Darklings. I'm actually going to stick with one Darkling, in case... Because I might want to need... I need, might need to sack that Darkling for a, a different draw. See, that's it's pretty uh, important that I wasn't able to top deck like a Brain Lice. 
Because now that Curse Monger can uh, curse the Witch Doctor, and then a Brain Lice can uh, kill it in two turns, which are really swinging the game. Oh, interesting. PDS decides to curse the Blight Bear. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. But that could tip, he has a, yeah, I was going to say, I could tip, he has a Damning Curse. Which is fine by me. I mean, you gotta, you have to expect the damage curse in the came mirror like that, and hopefully we can get a soul steal. That would be amazing. No soul steal, oh well. And hmm. yeah, I'll move down and uh, I want to play the life steal and not the rod Eater actually this turn, or I could play the rod Eater darkling. No, we don't have a Witch Doctor, so I'm actually yeah, I'm gonna play the Rod Eater Darkling. And I will go ahead with the Rod Eater right in the middle here. So that way I'll I'll be I'll be happy if he decides to deal three damage to my a seeker and get a kill that I get more cards so I don't have them not stuck with one card, the life sealer and my rod eater gets buffed. And he doesn't deal damage to Idol. And in a decay mirror in a decay mirror match, idle damage is more important than you might think. It really starts to build up over the course of the match, and oftentimes it's whoever can draw the Necrogun when when they have the uh idols a little bit down. Okay, so he is okay. So I will gladly take the buff and the cards. And not too bad draw there. We have some nice creatures we can use. So now this guy's going to die. He's going to. So I'll just. I'm going to. I could make sure this thing dies next turn if I uh, attack it and get it poisoned. But I don't want this thing to get poisoned. It wouldn't be that bad because I'm going to play a harvester <coughs> and a blood bear this turn. I'll cycle life steal to start with. See what else I can get. Soul steal. But I mean. This thing is going to die to poison in two turns, anyways. So I will try to engage the witch, the witch doctor because I might be able to maybe soul soul steal something in front of it or something. I don't know. So I will move you down. Move you there. Go ahead and I don't love putting a blight bear in front as like a blocker. That's all I have to do. I'm not gonna put the harvester back there because of that. I'm gonna leave the harvester on the other side of the board I think might not be the best decision there but whatever so now we have a bigger rod eater and our harvest goes down so that it's nice it's nice that we have two threats on the board so and he's already played uh, I think two damage curses yeah he played early damage curse to get rid of my curse monger and the damage curse to get rid of my wish doctor so so far so good so I mean I have two threats on the board so I can't damage curse them both and he does not have a curse monger in the field, so it's going to be hard for him to take him down with, uh, with poison also, with like brain lace. And there's nothing I could soul steal, but I'll sack the life stealer, so I can at least play two things this turn. Which doctor's a nice draw. Um, so I guess I'll move up. Yeah, I'll move up. I'll, this thing's gonna die if you didn't know. Because it's poisoned. I'll let him kill the blight bearer. Yeah. I will let him kill the blight bearer. And. Put, make sure the witch doctor is touching the blight bearer. The reason I didn't put the witch doctor behind the blight bearer and the rider behind is because then he could just poison my whole row. And I don't know if he's running bloodline taints because. That could be a problem if he gets enough poison on the board. So far, so good. If we could just draw a Necrogun soon, we can actually win very soon because he does have a Bloodline Taint. Okay. Because we have two Darklings on the field. So if we can draw a Necrogun, that'd be really nice. I don't think we have drawn any Necroguns yet. Okay, he gets the Brain Lace on the Witch Doctor, so that will die before it's able to attack. Oh well. And now let's see if he decides to destroy the Blight Bear. I will get a husk. Anyway, I'm going to get a husk, and this guy's going to be 6 6, but he's going to be poisoned. 
and I don't believe he will use waste up bloodline taint on a rot eater though because it's only a beast and I don't have any other beasts on the board. And he does get both of his things poisoned. So I am fine with that. And that's gonna be important, the witch doctor being poisoned, because that means eventually it's gonna be down to two health, so I can soul steal it. I'll sack the hunter because hunter is bad against the K because languid. And there's Necrogen. Awesome. Um so, I mean, too bad I wasn't able to connect in this turn. Maybe I wouldn't have, I don't know. I'll keep you in the middle even though you're going to die. So then I can at least get buffs. Um, I would rather this husk survive because... Because it's another thing I could use for a necker again. And just in case I decide not to necker again may as well play Rod Eater to get buffed and instead of languiding you I'll play the Blight Bear. I know he might be able to kill the Blight Bear and then all my stuff gets poisoned and he I think he's surrendering. Okay GG. Yeah I pretty much had the game because I, had a, I also had a Necrogen in my hand. So hooray! Plus 12 rating. Um, so what does that make us? Still, now we're tied with Nancy Rath for number four on the ladder. Very nice. And I believe Iquio and Leaguer claim to be the same person. So, I guess we're not really fourth. Alright. And I'm still, my rank is still Aspect Commander. And my ranking is number four, and my rating is 1912. I got kind of confusing when they called these new uh, badges they called these rank and then there's the ranking that people usually refer to the latter and then there's also your ratings that's kind of confusing so all's well almost 110,000 gold been winning in ranked again and yeah so thank you all for watching I hope you leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want more content and uh, leave a comment say, saying what you want to see more of on my channel I know I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, and that will probably continue, but I am still pro posting a bunch of scrolls content. And it's what I play the most also. So keep on scrolling, everybody. I'll see you next time.